Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Muscat, Oman. Today I'm so pumped because I'm taking you guys to eat northern Indian food here in the capital of Oman. Yes, we're eating Mughalai cuisine. If you guys don't know about the Mughalai Empire, that is a big mix of curries, kebabs, and bread. And we're here at Begum's. Begum's is one of the best franchises, Indian franchises in the country. They have three locations and we're here with Mohammed. Mohammed, how you doing? Hi, man. I'm good. Very good. So where are we right now? We are in uh, Begum's Al Khod branch and it's uh, the most recent one. One of the best, as you mentioned. Now let's go straight to the kitchen and meet with one of the owners, Ahmed. Let's go. All right, all right. Back in the Indian kitchen. My favorite place to be. All right, guys. Ahmed, how you doing? Hey, David, I'm good, man. How are you? Very good. Thank you so much. What are we doing tonight? Uh, tonight, we're going to cook some uh, most of our authentic and popular dishes. So it's going to be a kebab flat and non -veg. It's got a mix of Indian uh, chicken dishes and mutton. And then we got a veg platter. It's got some funny mushroom and some aloo. Achari aloo, very delicious. Okay. Awesome. And we've got some amazing curries. We've got a butter chicken coming up. We've got a kundan kalia. And then we've got a bang and bhatta. And then finally, an awesome authentic Mughlai biryani chicken. Are you ready for that? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. All right, let's go and see the chefs here. Chef, how you doing? Marshall. Oh, you're cooking up a storm here, huh? That smells amazing. So that's like probably butter chicken right there. Look at this. What is he doing? Biryani, right? So this is a chicken tikka biryani. Chicken tikka biryani. Yes, that's a very popular dish. And this is takeout, right? Yeah. Uh, it goes in and you have some fried onions on the top and some coriander. <laughs> so right here we have a beautiful like mint chutney chicken, right? Jeff, yeah, what's the name of this one? Chicken pahari kebab. I mean, it's beautiful. Nice, rich, and green. Oh, look at those kebabs. Can I throw some ghee on it? What are you making next, chef? Butter chicken? Mutton boti biryani. Wow, nice. I mean, it's a nice, thick gravy. So you have mutton. Obviously, that's goat. Mix with some rice here. Now he's going to throw some crispy onions in there. Some coriander. What are you doing, paneer? Oh, nice. Nice, look at that guys. Beautiful panniers. And he's adding some vegetables. Beautiful. Go straight into the into the tandoor. Woo! Look at that. Almost ready. Oh, it looks good. Chicken tandoor. Oh wow, he's adding ghee on top of the kebabs. Amazing. By the way, I love this kitchen. Lots of space here. So we have this section over here. You have two huge tandoors with the clay ovens. Staple Indian cuisine. If you don't have that, you're not Indian. And over here we have, you know, the chef doing curries. Nice, so this is mushroom right here. Love the gravies here. Look, so he adds some bell peppers, some red onions. Oh man, I need to ask you, is this all for us? This is for the platter. So we got the paneer, we have mushrooms, and we have all this chicken. Ooh, super hot. I've never seen them do this before. So they took out the kebabs and they moved them to the side onto this tandoor and then they add ghee and they just let it like continue to cook, right? So it's a little different, right? So they baked it and now they're just basically just finishing it off. Extra coating of ghee. Yeah, basically that's not fully done and that's where it gets the more heat coming up. So right here we have the mutton sea kebab. Okay, so put it like that. Wow, nice. It's different. I've never seen them bake it like this. Just hang it up there, let it sit for a bit. It's done, right? More sea kebabs. So there's mutton, correct? There's all mutton. So you mix the mutton with uh, some bell pepper, chopped bell pepper, some onions. Very nice. Different. What is this? Manak turkey boti. Looks amazing. Here's another kebab. How many kebabs are we doing, man? Wow, look at this. This is kebab heaven. So right here, the chef is doing mutton turkey boti. So it's mutton, so that's goat. Big chunks of goat mixed with this incredible masala. Dude, I feel like I need to dive in there and just lick it, but I can't right now because that's raw meat. Um, but it's amazing. I mean, he's doing so many kebabs for us. He's doing lots of chicken, doing sick kebabs, and he's doing this, plus he's doing mushroom and paneer. I mean, this is an endless feast today. Huge, huge meat platter. So what are we making here? Is it butter chicken? Wow. <laughs> Getting some butter for butter chicken, always. Some salt, some uh, that's cashmere chili. Are you mixing it? All right, perfect. Ooh, what is that? It's the chicken. So he added the chicken. 
So your bird of chicken, you guys do it from scratch, right? We do everything from scratch. For all gravies are scratch. Specifically the bird of chicken because it has to be on all authentic Indian Mughlai or North Indian dishes. So we, what we chose was we use fresh chicken. Mm -hmm. First processed in the tandoor section. Okay. And land it over to Roshan as the Indian section. We use that as the base. Okay. And then all the masalas go in fresh. There's nothing pre-prepared. It's perfect. Only we've got the two base curries because it's a creamy dish. So you've got one curry which is cashew base. The other one which is tomato and onion. Exactly. It's mixed together in proportion and then cooked on live fire. And then it's finished with a bit of cream and butter on the top. Kuning kalia. So he just added some garlic. Right there's onion and garlic. So next up he added jeera. So we get some of that gravy. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So masala. So right there he just added some salt. Some Kashmir chili. I think he added some turmeric. I don't know exactly what he added, but he's adding so many things. Oh wow, look at that. And then he adds the mutton. Wow, it looks like a dry roast. Ooh, the gravy. That creamy gravy. Nuke it. No, it's cilantro. Cilantro. Well, I, I learned that we've been. Oh, look at this. <gasps> that gravy. Every single gravy here looks absolutely amazing. The aroma's coming out of there, but the chef is so fast. He's like flying. He's doing this just so quick. Look at this. It's going, 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 going. What is he making next? Chicken tikka biryani, that's a first for me. Mm, oh yeah, the gravy. Mm -hmm. So he's getting big chunks of chicken tikka. More coriander. Crispy onions. My mouth is watering. It is straight up watering right now. Next he's gonna add some rice. Woo! The chef is too fast. Too fast, chef. <laughs> so this biryani is a little different, right? But he's gonna add more rice, right? Of course. So that's it. It's almost like more like a stir fry uh, chicken biryani. So he's gonna add the rice. Beautiful. Look at that. Just covered it. Amazing gravy. Covered with that rice. That's some real biryani right there. Next up, he's gonna make some naan. Na 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 na. Love it. Oh wow. Look at that. He just made it like long, long version. I'll tell you, I love the bread they make. This naan is different. As you can see, it's long. He just likes woo -hoo! Too hot, too hot. <laughs> So it's plain naan, he just like rolls it out, he like smashes it with his hand, and he throws it in with a pillow. Sits there for like one minute, and he pulls it out, and it's amazing, he adds ghee right now. Oh yeah, lots of ghee, give me that ghee. Ghee's the best. He chops it, and in case you guys don't know the difference, in North India it's all about breads, South India it's all about rice. Why? Because in the South they produce rice, so everything is rice, 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 rice. North, bread, 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 bread. Oh wow, this is what we're setting up right here? A whole table in the kitchen. We're not eating in the dining hall. We're going super VIP style. This is the first time I've ever done this in my life. Ahmed, you're the best, bro. You're the best. You really are. Look at this, guys. First time even I'm doing it. First time you're doing it? <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. VIP. So Begging Barta is an eggplant dish. It's almost like a dry roast. It's a dry roast. Dry roast, right? Some tomatoes. Right here with the eggplant. It's a dry roast, right? As you can see, he throws some butter, he's throwing some salt, he's gonna throw some other stuff in there. What is that? I don't know, some of these spices, I don't even know what he's throwing in there. Coriander, chopped onions. It's gonna be a little spicy, right? Yes. I think so, because I can smell it. <laughs> I can smell the heat. Oh, we have some paparam. We have some, uh, oh, we have some achar. We have lime, red onion, and some mint cilantro chutney. Sikh kebab platter. These sikh kebabs look unreal. Wow. And it has chili, and also coriander. Next up, we have chicken. We're gonna eat anytime soon. We're gonna eat some, we're gonna eat some. He's getting the, the platter ready for us. Oh, look at that, nice and charred. Mm -hmm. Look how fast he goes. He's so quick. Also, this one, he's gonna mix it with some stuff in there, right? So you squeeze some lime in there, All right? More lime. Wow, so he threw some more, some cream. Now he's gonna mix it. 
That's some creamy chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh, how good it looks though. Wow. Nothing like a northern Indian meal, man. Chef, give me one. Give, let me grab one. Let me grab one. Oh, scorching hot. How was it? How was it? Mmm. The spices, the smokiness, the charcoal, man. <laughs> He's adding more cream. Dude, it's so spicy. This is gonna be a very spicy meal tonight. <laughs> Next up we have this beautiful chicken with the, with the chili. Chicken pahari. Pahari kebab. Chicken pahari. Watch this, watch how fast he does it. Wow. So he's putting some more cream. Oh, on the chicken tandoor right there? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this is amazing. The most amazing platter of my life. Muhammad and I are ready, we have Right here, the kebab platter. Guys, look at this monster. So good. How do we start? <laughs> I'm not sure, man. Dude, just I know. Grab it, yeah. just, just grab I think this one, because it's the creamy one. This one's so good. Yeah. Let's try it. Yeah, I just tried it over there. It's delicious. Mm. The masala is the cream. Real spice. Mm. Amazing. And this is, this is mutton, right? It's dope. Yeah. Wow, like mind blowing. It's a little hot too. This is the best part of Mughal cuisine. Lots of kebabs. So this is the sea kebab. And this is how we eat it, right? And the sea kebab is this is a uh, lamb, Indian lamb, mutton. It's mutton. So this is a Sikh mutton kebab. But we do need some of that chutney, right? Here you go, buddy. Oh. So add that on top. You need that. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. It's even better with the chutney, man. Mm -hmm, of course. Good call. Mm -hmm. Mint cilantro, a little spicy too. Yeah. No, but spicy. Everything's spicy. Everything's amazing. This is the this bahari. Is bahari tikka. Bahari tikka. So what is that green? So this is a combination of uh, coriander okay. and uh, spinach and a bit of mint. What am I doing? Yeah, man. Let's eat it straight out. Oh, you're digging right here? Yeah, dig in right, right there. Right there, right there, girl. Go right there, bro. You need to take a lot. You have to. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is good. really good. Yeah. It's really good. I've Spicy. never tried this before. No, man, this one's actually, I mean, the chicken literally falls apart. But that's the clay oven, right? So and that's the clay oven and also the marination. This is the Jalandri Tikka. Jalandri Tikka. Look at that, another beautiful chicken. Oh, straight. How? How is it so good? Thank you. Literally melts. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take into tandoori chicken, needs to go in, into my system. But tandoori chicken? Born and bought over tandoori chicken. Mm-hmm. That's how he does it. So he breaks it up just like that. And you're from Delhi, right? I'm from Delhi, yeah. My family's from Mumbai. My wife and my sister, yeah. I'm very much a Delhi boy. Mm. Excellent, huh? Yeah, bone, right? It's on the bone. Yeah, bone. Mm-hmm. That's just tandoori chicken and this is chicken tikka. Boneless tikka. This is a veg kebab platter. Mm -hmm. So you've got Haryali paneer tikka, you've got uh, pickled uh, mushroom, mushrooms, then you've got uh, mixed veg seed, and this is uh, spicy tandoori alu. And it is tandoori, chicken tandoor, or tandoori chicken. So this is with bone. Let's do it. Yala, yala. Mm hmm. Mm. That's the real deal, man. Man. All the meat dishes are the best here. It's crazy good. Like you said, marinate 24 hours. It really digs deep into the meat. It just melts in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Nothing like a northern Indian cuisine. Northern Indian meal. It really hits you and it fills your belly. Yeah. You really feel the cold, you know? Mm -hmm. The charcoal uh, taste. Let's move this guy out for a second. So this is the spicy aloo right here? This is the spicy aloo, pickled achari aloo. The best potato ever. Spicy. Mm -hmm. So basically the pickle on top. Mmm, no tomato. So over here we have some mushrooms, 
Is it paneer? This is paneer. Paneer, right? Yeah, and this one? This is a mixed veg seek. So mixed veg mince, seek. Yeah. So these are minced vegetables. And this is a mixed veg seek. So seek kebab with mixed vegetables. Cheers. No. This one is just. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Lots of vegetables in here, huh? Very soft. Smoking, but it feels almost like a veg patty. So it's actually like a veg patty. The mix is like a veg patty. So you can also make it into a, a patty format. You can also roll it into balls. But what we do is we roll it onto the long seat and then put it into the plate and do completely different flavors. When you make it into a patty, you will get completely different flavors of the same, same marination. The patty you put on the pan, you add some oil, very different. This, it's just like, it's melting away, right? Into the clay oven. Yeah, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Love this veg platter. In the traditional style of cooking, which is on, let's say, coal, wood. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna try this yeah, paneer, it's right? It's paneer. Paneer. I think it's cheese. I'm not gonna it. No, he just put cream and then he put bell pepper and tomatoes. Yeah, so paneer is Indian cottage cheese. They added bell pepper, tomato, nice and smoky in the tandoor. This is awesome. This is the best way to eat it. Mmm. Love how it was cooked in there. That oh man. All the breads. Platter of breads. Yes. Platter of breads. So I'm gonna add the paneer to the chutney. I love this chutney. So you can break. You can, you can. I know, I always do it, but it's spicy. So this is a bread basket platter. We've got some crispy garlic naan, okay. butter naan, and this is like a lacha paratha. Lacha paratha. Lacha paratha. I like this one. This is like when they flip the, the yeah. pan, right, and they do it on top. Yeah. It's amazing. But everything is in the tandoor, so nothing on onto the tawa. Nothing? In, no. We, perfect. We don't, we don't have a tawa bread system, so we do everything into the uh, flavor. Perfect. Yeah. So we have three different gravies here. We have the butter chicken. Yes, we have the kundan kalia. Okay. And we've got bag and bharta, uh, roasted pabajis. Perfect. Bismillah. Butter chicken, of course. He's eating everything, man. Yeah. The marrow, you are the lucky one. You get the marrow, right? Oh, please give me the marrow. <laughs> It's my favorite, man. Yeah? <laughs> There's always a fight over the map. <laughs> okay. Bring in bata. All right, here we go. What would you like? I like a garlic. Thank you. The garlic? Garlic, yes. Dude, garlic. I'll get the plain. The plain? Okay. I'm going with garlic. Oh, I'll go with the lacha. Yeah. The lacha is awesome. Look, it's like flaky. That's the garlic. So the way we do it is very easy. Just go in here. Yeah, you break. Lean, you break it. You break it. I guess butter chicken first, right? You beat me to the punch. Mm. This is my second lunch. Your second lunch? Wow. This is outstanding. Oh, I love the gravy. One of the things we wanted to when we started this place was. We wanted to, of course, it's a commercial place, but we wanted to bring out the cooking All right, as that. close as possible to home side. So when you eat an Indian food normally at a restaurant, you go back, it's really heavy on you. Mm -hmm. What we wanted to do was that even if you eat a good heavy meal, it shouldn't really make you feel heavy or like probably too full. Exactly. So there is a fair amount of spices. But the food is not overpowered by the spices because as you saw, we're making everything from the scratch. When you make everything from the scratch, it's not kept cooked, pre-cooked, etc. Exactly. Anything fresh and you, as you keep it simple, it, the flavors come out and it's not too heavy. Bang and barta. Bang and barta. Bang and barta. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Love this roast. So you guys don't know what a roast is? You know, this is a creamy, you know, curry. A roast is basically dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's so and smoky. It's almost done. So it gets the smoky flavor. It also removes the skin, mash it up, and it's ready. And then we use all the spices. It's very spicy. <laughs> yeah, that's why you need raita. Yeah. Well, you also have the lassi there. So I'm drinking this lassi right now. I'm getting that spice.
This is what you need in India when you get spicy, when you're too hot outside, you get that. Wow, this meal is phenomenal. I've never Phenom tried this before. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this oh. is awesome. Man. Yeah, man, it's good. It's spicy too. I'm getting spice now. And then this is the king, right? You know what? Let me go in here. Yeah. Let me get that marrow. You know so much bone marrow? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's going to be hard to get it out of That was like orgasmic food. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> So much meat. Indian food is Kama Sutra. Indian food is the best. People have hated on me because I eat so much Indian food. I'm like, guys, I'm addicted. I'm literally addicted to it. Mmm. There's so much variety. People think Indian food is like just north or just south, but there's so much more than that. Amazing gravy. And the thing is, at this point, it's all being mixed, right? Just mix like this. My parents didn't like that when I was young. I was mixing things. They were like, no. But then I went to India and it's like, yes, you mix. You mix. Mixing the right place. Yeah. I've been to so many places. So I did a trip to Kerala. Mm -hmm. I did 12 days in Kerala from Trivandrum all the way to Kasagarugad. I did another trip. So I've done, the first two trips were a big mix. First trip, Delhi, Agra, Lucknow, Varanasi, Jaipur, Mumbai. Second trip was Pune, Bangalore, Amritsar, Hyderabad. Oh, you did Amritsar? Yeah, Amritsar, amazing. I went to the Golden Temple. Then I did a Chennai, I did a Medabad, sorry, a, a Kolkata, and then a Medabad. And that was that trip. And then a third trip, I did Meghalaya and Assam. Dude. My, my dream. It's your dream? To do Meghalaya. Oh. You have already been to Meghalaya. I'm 50, I'm Indian, I've never been to Meghalaya. I know, it's, it's too much in India, man. It's too much. But Meghalaya is like, different world. Yeah. Different world. Kasi food, it's so good. And the music scene. The music scene in Megala is mm -hmm. very, very... Scotland of the East. It's very different, yeah? Yeah, so different. The rest of India. No, you don't feel like you're in India. No, you don't. Up there, you don't feel like it. You feel like you're way more in Asia. Wow. We still have a few more, so... The best. What's left? Biryani. Where's biryani? This chicken tikka biryani. No way. I've never had a chicken tikka biryani before. Yeah, man. Speciality. The signature of the Yeah. So the other day I had a short rib biryani, which I thought was unique, but this is different too. It's enough, my man. Oh, right there. Mmm, nice and creamy chicken tikka. And then we're gonna throw on. I'm a pro at this, but we, we definitely need raita, but you know what, let's try it without, without the raita first. Ooh, still nice and hot. Ooh. That's why you need the raita. Well, the raita cool down the spices, right? But, you know, I'll tell you, this is the best experience of my life, eating in an Indian restaurant in the kitchen. So you want to add some of the raita? Do you want it on top of the side? Yeah, on top. On top, directly? Yep. Malabar style, huh? Malabar. Yeah, so this is how we do it in Kerala. David, you keep saying it wrong. I'm like, guys. No, I'm used to it. I'm used, yeah, right? So the right thing makes it very creamy. I love that. So it makes it like this. You make the ball. Perfect. Are you ready? Yalla. Yalla, yalla, let's do it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love that it's light. Not too many spices. Not like overkill. Mm. This is the signature, right, of this restaurant? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some biryanis as well, but this is more popular in this particular uh, restaurant. Let's say this is the fast food of biryani. Yeah. The right had really calmed down the heat. Like, it was super, super scorching hot, that chicken. Right, but now, straight to the mouth. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. Yeah. Oh, man, I love it. So, what I've learned is that you don't leave a grain. Right, because people are hungry. <laughs> people are hungry, man. Yeah. You know, when you think about you how many people in the world don't have food, yeah, we don't leave. Always pull it back, right? Yeah. Mm, like this. Right. Phenomenal. Thank you. Man, imagine having chicken tikka mixed with a biryani. That's exactly what it is. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we have two authentic uh, Indian deserts, uh, Firni and uh, Shahi Tukra. So I've never seen this in any northern Indian restaurant. 
unique. So where can you find this? Delhi, Hyderabad? So you will find it across north, uh, not way up, but probably Delhi, UP, you'll find this. You'll find it also in the west. You'll find it in Mumbai. You'll find it in uh, way down till Hyderabad. Okay. In Hyderabad, it's called double kamitha. Okay. We call it shahi tukra. Essentially a bread pudding. This one, bread this pudding. One. And this one is firni. Uh, it's a rice pudding. Rice Something pudding. similar to kheer, okay. but the kheer is uh, more liquid and flowing. This is like a set rice pudding. All right, let's try that bread pudding. Mohammed, attack! 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 Nice, creamy. creamy. Mm -hmm. yep. Super creamy. You got almonds in there, cardamom, right? Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Of course. That's good. I will let this expand my waistline. It's okay. <laughs> wow, this is one of the best. Thank you. Smooth. 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 Oh, I love it. because You can have it the last thing in the night and first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. This is the wake me up, put me to sleep both. <laughs> yeah, you know what it's like? It's like a French toast and on top it's all cream. Yep. Right? Is you that... can call it anything. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh my like gosh. For morning it's like a French toast. <laughs> it was for me. That's for you, man. Mm. I've never had this one and it's a winner. Mmm. Mmm. Indeed, it's a winner. Indeed. It's like the spoon clean. I mean, if you insist. Oh, that was the extra cream. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sticker. Mmm. Yeah, way less grainy than uh, here. Yeah. Here you feel more grains, a lot more liquidy. This is thicker. Mmm. And then we grind the rice a lot more, mm -hmm. but you still have the rice coming into your mouth. It's not completely tasty. Wow. What can you I tell you? Saffron. Yeah, the saffron gives you the aroma. This is too much. This is like this piece here out of the water. I like this one more than this. Yeah. Yeah. I like the bread the most. And that, my friends, is Begum. Truly authentic Mughalai cuisine here in Muscat, Oman. They have three different branches. Definitely come out to this one and try their butter chicken. Chicken tikka masala or chicken tikka biryani. I mean, everything was so good. The kebab platter, the veg platter. It's mind-blowing. And everything is very unique, very distinguishedly taste, right? The, the taste is so different here in Oman. Lots of cardamom and everything is made fresh. All the curries are made from scratch. Thank you, David. No problem. Good to have you. Mohammed, uh, I think we made a good choice by coming here. Yes, yeah. I, I'm like in an Indian food coma right now. I can barely speak. <laughs> I, can, I, can really, I can't even think anymore. We need to drag you out. Look. Pull, pull, please, pull, please. Pull. Out of this kitchen, man. Oh, you know what? Make a bed for me right there. <laughs> Bunk bed. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure. Somewhere in Oman. You're going to finish it? Yo. I'll finish it, man. Finish Don't it. Worry, man.